<laughs> it's a massive welcome to Lizzie Talbot, who is an incredible member of our industry. Welcome to CPSH. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Hi there, uh, my name is Lizzie Talbot. I'm an intimacy coordinator uh, for TV and film. Um, my role is to make sure that uh, actors are advocated for and that um, we can create consensual choreography uh, for any scenes of an intimate nature. And you met our wonderful founder, Arlene, on Netflix series Bridgerton. What an experience that must have been. Tell us a little bit about life on that set. Yeah, it was incredible. It was so wonderful to uh, get to meet Arlene and get to know her over the course of Bridgerton. Um, it was incredible having someone with such a wealth of experience in chaperoning um, so that I, if I had any questions at all, like I could go straight to her and find out exactly, you know, what the role was and, you know, how I could best uh, support her chaperones on set if needed. Yeah, 100%. And obviously here at CPSH, we work more with younger people. So what are the differences in kind of coordinating intimacy scenes for children in comparison with maybe some of the scenes that you film with people like the cast of Bridgerton? Yeah, so exactly. Um, I think one of the main differences is that we would have to collaborate so much more in depth with like the chaperones um, and with parents and with production uh, specifically for scenes of intimacy between minors um, and you know I think that it's important to clarify you know scenes of intimacy sometimes people can immediately think of you know simulated sex and nudity but actually you know we cover such a wide range of, of intimate scenes everything from you know parent child best friends um, uh, you know all sorts of things where um, you know feelings of emotional intimacy can arise, which don't necessarily have to be physical. So anything from, you know, like uh, hugging, sitting closely together, um, maybe like a kiss on the forehead, all that sort of thing that can um, tell the story of familial intimacy without it being like of a sexual nature. Yeah, and it's, it's a really, really different approach. And I think one of the most important things is to have that training and have that preparation before you go into a scene like that. And working with, with people who are maybe slightly younger, it must be so important to do a course or some sort of training, especially like the, the kind of training that we do here at CPSH. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of the times, so obviously we're working with minors, we'll do a lot of, you know, smoke and mirrors. They won't actually be in the room at the same time. You know, it'll be quite carefully shot. But it was just so useful getting to um, know Arlene and to go on her course and understand exactly what the role of chaperones are. Because, you know, it, there are quite a lot of, you know, rules and regulations surrounding this. And so it's so helpful to have, you know, someone on hand to be able to say, you know, actually, you know, they're coming up to the end of their filming time, uh, you know, they need Need to go and have their tutoring now um you know and making sure that you know we're not sort of um being shortchanged in terms of i'm not being asked to do a chaperone's job and a chaperone isn't being asked to be like a de facto intimacy coordinator uh, it's so helpful that when we each know what our role is that we're not like you know stepping on toes or crossing over or being asked to do something that we're not insured to do um, and so, yeah, going on the course with Arlene was just such an eye opener um, into the world of chaperoning and something that I recommend every every intimacy coordinator to do. Perfect. Lizzie, thank you so much for coming to join us. No, thank you so much for having me.